guys, Daniel. Lucy here. And as you guys chose in our uh, next classic poll, we're gonna watch Casablanca. Uh, I'm sure you recognize the name, Casablanca. Yeah, I've never seen the movie, obviously, but the name is something that I really am I'm kind of familiar. I think there's a lot of references to Casablanca. I'm not sure if it's about the city of Casablanca, if it's like reference to the movie itself. No idea, but I do recognize the name. Yeah, yeah. it does appear in a lot of um, in a lot of other movies. There are references uh, recently in Hot Shots that there was also oh, a reference okay. to, to 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 the movie. Now, uh, in regards to me, I was gonna say, oh, I've seen this movie for sure. But the thing is, I'm not sure if I've seen the whole movie because uh, first of all, I don't remember anything from the of the story. I do rem remember some scenes. Uh, from this movie, so I'm not sure if I've seen the movie. If I've actually seen the whole movie, or it's like, or, uh... yeah, especially because you know I've studied some um, cinema, and so a lot of times in classes we see a lot of uh, segments of movies. So I'm not sure if I've actually seen the whole movie. So it's almost the first time for me. For you, I'm sure it's it is a first time. Right? It is a first time, yeah. obviously, uh, especially because it's a very old movie for us. It's like for forty, uh, you said. Forty two, yeah, yeah. Forty two. I think it's the the oldest one we've done in the, in the channel so far. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be interesting, like very old school, which is something that I like personally. Yeah, usually you 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 kind of like that, and it's from forty two. So uh, this was when World War Two was happening. That's a three. That's forty-three. No, it won uh, the Oscar in forty-three. So oh. the movie was from forty-two. Okay, sorry. Um, and uh, this is set in that era. So in the era in which the movie that they, uh, was filmed. So which is kind of weird because it's like they are in the middle of the war and they are like doing a movie about the war. Okay, maybe not about the war, but where the in war that time, exists. Yes, I mean. Yeah. I mean, n nowadays you have shows and, and TV which is set in our days with things that are happening right now. So Still. <laughs> they also did that back then. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you recognize any of the actors' names? Um, Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman? Uh, no. Which is not uncommon, but I do not recognize any of them. They were uh, quite known at the time, that I know. Yeah. And I just uh, kind of... Um, uh, I do know Humphrey Bogart because I, I'm used to see him play like more of a detective types in, uh, in, oh, in a lot of movies. Interesting. Maybe this is like something related. Well, I don't know. You want to try to guess what the movie is about because uh, we only have here a poster with... Uh, yeah. It, it doesn't give so, much information, let's say. I do like the handwriting of the letters. It gives me like kind of um, dark kind of stuff, you know, because the letters are very... Uh, Kind of reminds me a little bit old school, like um, advertisement yeah. type of, of, of writing, let's say. Yeah. So, I do think it's like a romance, you know? Like a romance between a guy and a woman. It does give that vibe, yeah. Yeah, and I would say it's, it's something like gangster kind of stuff. I don't know why, but every time I, I think about Casablanca, I honestly think about like uh, gangsters, crime. like crime, drug dealers, like a cartel. That's okay. exactly okay. the vibe that I'm going. It's like, it's like having like the Fifty Shades without the, okay, no, without the erotics and without the red rooms and stuff. Okay. But th that's what Fifty Shades is, so <laughs> what, what no. you have left. No, okay. <laughs> My point, two people from very separated worlds ah, okay. <laughs> fall in love, which is like, Nothing. So you have the proceed. romance, you have the romance, yeah. Let's proceed. Which I also we agree. have the romance, yes, and I think it's people from different worlds. So I think it's like either a gangster or like someone very influent in that aspect, you know, with like a very normal girl that's like mm -hmm. very correct, very polite, something like that. So people from so two different worlds, yeah, yeah one more crime and other more normal. Uh, yeah, I can. I, I feel that vibe, uh, the of the um, the romance. Let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I also would go a little bit on the crime, uh, like, like you were saying, maybe a little bit with that, or because it's in that era, uh, also with spying. 
you know oh it would stuff. make sense because since it, it is like we were saying like a detective kind well, of stuff maybe it's because i'm used to see him as yeah, detective probably. but uh, but i'm not sure uh, it kind of gives me that uh, spying uh, vibe let's say because it's casablanca morocco in the, that time yeah, might have true. a little bit of that yeah but yeah the the poster doesn't give us much more information i think we're just yeah, gonna yeah, jump yeah. Uh, right in right you can see the full-length commentary, get access to polls, to what we will see next, and more on our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Uh, if you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you! Yeah, that very old kind of style, right? You do, you do always have the, um, the <laughs> credits in the beginning. In the beginning yeah. Many eyes in imprisoned Europe turned hopefully or desperately toward the freedom of the Americas. It, it is about the, that time. Lisbon! Mm -hmm. Nice! For you guys that don't know, we are from Portugal. So Lisbon is in our country. And it was used to go to America in those days. Yes. Apparently. Well, we... I know it was like a big place for spying and, and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Casablanca in French Morocco. Yeah, the fortunate one. Well, this must be in the time where you know France was defeated, and then uh, mm. you have the free France, and then the mm. Vichy France. That looks so fake, though. And wait, and wait. When they got to Lisbon, I, I suppose they were much more safe than here. Yeah. Because here you still could still be arrested or something. Two German couriers carrying important official documents murdered on train from Oran. Oh, that's gonna bring some problems. I mean, and it was like in in the time that Germany was like conquering mm -hmm. almost whole Europe. So yep. it was a, a, a big deal. In that case, we'd have to ask you to come along. Wait, it's possible that, uh, yes. Oh, I have it here. What, what a surprise. And the cops, they do look uh, from like Morocco. Oh, he's really gonna try to? <laughs> Oh, no way if you would get that shot. Liberté! Fortunately, along with these unhappy refugees, the scum of Europe has gravity. The scum, Jesus. I beg of you, monsieur, watch yourself. Be on guard. This Very... place is full of vultures, vultures everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Not at all. The guy is. He stole them. Did you say yeah, 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 I was thinking that. I was gonna say the guy is very handy with him. Yeah, 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 he stole. I left my wallet in the hotel. Oh. <laughs> sure. Perhaps tomorrow we'll be on the plane. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Ricky's Cafe American. American. Why did you like uh, read that with a French accent? Me too, Jesus. I was because, because it says American, and that's a French word. So. No, American. 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 What is it? A I say? N. The, the way it's written. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, it's a German plane. Yeah. Oh, God. May I present Captain Renault, Police Protector of Casablanca, Major Stata. They look very friendly. Captain Tonelli, the Italian staff is at your command, Major. Kind of you. My Italians. <laughs> like, I, don't care. I, I don't care about Italians. <laughs> oh, we Germans must get used to all climates, from Russia to the Sahara. Yeah, because we have so much territory. Mm -hmm. You know already who the murderer is. Tonight he'll be at Rick's. Everybody comes to Rick's. So everybody goes to Rick's, yeah. I do love the place though. Yeah, I love the, the lighting there, oh. the, the lamps. I love the ceiling. I would have, I would love to The have, arches? Yeah, daddy like, <laughs> imagine a living room like that, amazing. Wonderful, you have to the music is the kind place. of your style as well, a bit jazzy, a bit, yeah. Very happy, Jesus. The fishing smack San Diego. Okay, so this is the place where business happens. Smuggling, yeah. Yeah. Smuggling of people. I would say like it's for them to go away. <laughs> Gambling. Yeah. Will you ask Rick if he have a drink with us? Madam, he never drinks with customers. Never. What makes Salon Keeper so snobbish? He's working, it's his bar. Why would he just the leading banker in Amsterdam is now the pastry chef in our kitchen. We have something to <laughs> It's very uh, good with people. Yeah, it's very good at his job here, yeah. <laughs> Playing alone? Smart people do that. I have been in every family home between Honolulu and Berlin. And if you think I'm going to be okay. kept out of a saloon like this... Oh, honey, that attitude is not going to take you. <laughs> Your cash is good at the bar. This is okay. outrageous. I, I like him. If this is Rick, I like Rick. 
think you've been doing this all your life. Well, what makes you think I haven't? Oh, n nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. What right do I have to think? Kelly <laughs> <laughs> knows about to shut <laughs> up, <laughs> thank God. Please. May I? Maybe not. <laughs> I spoke too soon, apparently. You despise me, don't you? Well, if I gave yeah. you any thought, I probably would. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I'm leaving, kindly, this Casablanca. You know what this <laughs> is? Letters of Transit, signed by General Vico. Mm, nice. Oh, he got interested. You saw his face? Tonight I'll be selling those for more money than even I have ever dreamed of. Anything. Oh, God. Why do I feel you're gonna be in trouble? Yes. Yeah, this is like a setup for you to fail, dude. So you're gonna, something's gonna happen to you. Yeah, keep it for me, and then someone is going to come looking for it or something. Yeah, I heard a rumor those two German couriers were carrying letters of transit. Of course, oh, of shit. course. Yes, so... like, do you know anything about the murders? I am a little more impressed with you. Oh, yeah, it's like, I see that you are able to kill people. Hmm. Maybe impressed for the wrong reasons. Oh, oh that, that's amazing. How much trouble? Too much trouble. Right now. Who's on oh, he's hiding. No one saw? I find it very odd. <laughs> now, now who's I think that's an important guy. And, and it kind of looked like a, uh, like a, a gang stuff that they yeah, yeah. do. I, I was going to say a bit of the gangster style there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you someone powerful. powerful. Mm -hmm. So we can see that he has a lot of business and important people here. As the other said, everybody goes to Rick's. Mm -hmm. Haven't heard my offer. It's not for sale at any price. It's like it's not for sale, period. I don't buy or sell human beings. Suppose you run your business and let me run mine. You see, and he doesn't really put his nose where... Mm -hmm. Sam Ferrari wants you to work for him at the Blue Parrot. Oh, I like it fine, yeah. You'll double what I pay you. Yeah, but I ain't got time to spend the money I make here. <laughs> Sorry. Who were you last night? That's so long ago, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, you're going home. You've had a little too much to drink. Oh, <laughs> the drama. Oh, I hate that salute. <laughs> Jesus. That's awful. I hate when they just do like this. I think the worst one to, to give salutes was Hitler himself. It was just oh, terrible. God. It's like... I've often speculated on why you don't return to America. Yeah, why are you here? He's an American. I like to think that you killed a man. It's the romantic in me. <laughs> I like it. I stick my neck out for nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why he's successful, you know, because yeah. he doesn't care about you, that kind you, of crap. You can't trust uh, anyone, really. Rick, we'd have an important guest here tonight. Oh, I love the way they just uh, love have the, the shadow. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. It reminds me of the, the way that they use shadows in the Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. There are many exit pieces sold in this cafe, but we know that you've never sold one. Yeah, it's like, whatever other people do, it's not my business. <laughs> There's a man arrived in Casablanca on his way to America. Well, what's his name? Victor Laszlo. Victor Laszlo? He knows him? I don't recognize the name, but yeah, he seems like he knows the name. He escaped from a concentration camp, the Nazis have been Oh! So he's someone who is used to escape. Make it ten. I'm only a poor, corrupt official. <laughs> I love His what... honesty, though. <laughs> his honesty about being corrupt, yeah. <laughs> Louis, well, whatever gave you the impression that I might be interested in helping Laszlo escape? Because, my dear Ricky, I suspect that under that cynical shell, you're at heart a sentimentalist. Well, yeah, sentimentalist. I seriously doubt it. Mm, I would say that maybe. <laughs> you ran guns to Ethiopia. In 1936, you fought in Spain on the loyalist side. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it indicates a little bit your position on this. Yeah. yeah. See that Major Strasser gets a good table, one close to the ladies. I have already given him the best, knowing he's German and would take it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I, mean, you I would love take the it anyways, yeah. In a few minutes, you'll see the arrest of the man who murdered your couriers. Oh, of course. So he had this plan to, to happen in front of the Major. Oh, so of course. He sees... Just to be like very <laughs> good. <laughs> He looks like a set puppy, the, the guy. Yeah, all the Jesus. time. Jesus! What the hell were you doing there, bro? Terrible. Oh, he has a gun. Shit. What were you expecting? No, it's just, he can't do anything. He doesn't like it, but he can't do anything. Yeah, I mean, if you start doing it, it's... Uh, you have a business <laughs> to run. I stick my neck out for nobody. Yeah, you see? You see this attitude? 
but then, uh, but it's but it really is like uh, how you say what you want to project because it helps business. It helps yeah. keep things running. But also because I don't think he has something to hide. Hmm. It's very mysterious. What is your nationality? I'm a drunkard. <laughs> and that makes me a citizen of the world. That's gonna, that's gonna be interesting. Can you imagine us in London? How about New York? Well, there are certain sections of New York, Major, that I wouldn't advise you to try to invade. <laughs> I love him. Sorry, but I love him so much. It's like, He's maybe it's not a good smart. idea. Excuse me, gentlemen, your business is politics. Mine is running a saloon. Oh, the, I don't think the Major trusts. It's like, mm, maybe. No, no, no. no. Victor Laszlo. Yes. Oh, that, that's the guy. There they are. Oh, that's the woman from the poster. Is it? I think so. Yeah, yeah, it's Inger Ingrid Bergman. Yeah. Looks like he saw a ghost. He knows him then. I think he knows her because you saw her reaction with him. No. I think he knows her and she knows him. So she noticed him? She noticed him, uh, okay, yes. Okay, I didn't notice that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm forced to sell it at a great sacrifice. Thank you, but I hardly think. Then perhaps for the lady, the ring is quite unique. Oh, that's like a symbol. Yeah. Okay, so this must be the, the contact that they, they were going to meet here. Yeah. No, I don't <laughs> think we want to buy the ring, but thank you for showing it to us. That's good, because the, the cop is right there. Yeah. I am Captain Renault, Prefect of Police. Yes, I hope you'll forgive me, Captain. The present French administration hasn't always been so cordial. The boy was playing the piano. Somewhere I've seen him. Oh, you see, she saw him. Yeah. You were Czechoslovakian. Now you are subject of the German Reich. Yeah, well, we didn't have a choice. Captain Renault, I'm under your authority. Is it your order that we come to your uh, office? Oh, that is like kind that of fucked up for request. the other guy. That is a much more pleasant request. Very much well. more pleasant. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, yeah, and, and I like the way he puts things, the, yes. the corrupt French official. He always <laughs> tries to be polite. Oh, I love this black and white here. In a concentration camp, one is up to lose a little weight. <laughs> or he was in a concentration camp. They organized, monsieur. Underground, like everywhere else. Yeah, these are the guys I want to free friends, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the resistance. Yeah, yeah. Could you mm -hmm. ask the piano player to come over here, please? Hello, sir. Hello, myself. Oh. I never expect to see you again. You know, oh, they know each other see very you again. well, I think. Some of the old songs, Sam. Maybe he, he worked for her? Where is Rick? So he, she knows Rick as well. You bad luck time. Ooh. Oh. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Oh, I know this song. Maybe this is one of the scenes that I do recognize. Yeah. Kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Yeah, I think this music I have heard. I've seen this, I think, in reference in other movies. This, this music appearing. I do like the shine of the earrings. That you can rely. Oh, Rick, no, why? He's gonna hear the song and... Sam, I thought I told you never to play. <laughs> why is she here? <laughs> oh, he was shocked. It's like, <laughs> you know, why? My piano, I'm gonna take it. Hello, Rick. Oh, oh you already you. met Rick, Mademoiselle. He has a great deal about Rick in Casablanca and about Victor Laszlo everywhere. Won't you join us for a drink? Oh, no, Rick. Well, never. Thanks, I will. Well, the French guy is so like, what the hell is happening? Yeah. He's so interested. I remember every detail. The Germans wore gray, you wore blue. If I was Laszlo, I would be jealous, yeah. honestly. I know. That's exactly what I was thinking. Nice. Hmm. All right. Oh, I was intrigued. Because and you're you right. If, if Laszlo, I, if I was Laszlo, but he might, he might still. Very puzzling fellow this week. What sort is he? Oh, I really can't say. Though I saw him quite often in Paris. Oh, so he drinks after the clients le leave. Yeah, maybe after a client leaves. And that's boss, him. Ain't you planning on going to bed in the near future? No, I'm waiting for a lady. Please, boss, let's go. Ain't nothing but trouble for you here. It's like, oh, she, mm. she's gonna be trouble for you. Jesus, what is going on there? It's like she's poisoned, right? <laughs> what what, what did she do to you? Okay, he's really madly upset. in love with her. All the gin joints in all the towns in all the world. Why here? She walks into mine. Okay, this line I do know. Yeah. 
yeah, the memories. Yeah, I'll have one day. <laughs> Paris, they said we were in Paris, yeah. the date was invaded. Oh god, I can't deal with the fakeness of this. But it's so cute, don't <laughs> get me wrong, guys. Yeah, Here, but I think it's so cute, but we can't see like how different things are. It just reminds me of Airplane when they had that scene yeah, <laughs> in the right. background. <laughs> oh, it's weird to seem like happy. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Laughing and he had a much different life when he was in Paris. I wonder what happened between them, uh, to be honest, because one yeah. thing is Germans invading, obviously. What were you before? Yeah, exactly. Who the, who the hell are you? We said no questions. Hmm. Maybe she was someone important for the Germans. Hmm. Why there is no other man in my life? It's easy. There was. He's dead. Oh, no, it is Laszlo and she lost him or something like that. She thought he was dead. Yeah. That, oh, that would be... <laughs> that would be fucked up. Oh, God. Jesus. But very likely. He's looking at you, kid. And I, I know this expression as well. It's looking at you, kid. That's something I else that I recognize. Where were you, say, ten years ago? Ten years ago. <laughs> In diapers, honestly. <laughs> Where were you? Looking for a job. Germans will be here pretty soon now. And they'll come looking for you. And don't forget, there's a price on your head. Oh, shit. Like yeah, she's worried about him. You must leave Paris. No, 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 no. We must leave. Exactly. She's not very happy about it. I'll meet you at the station. All right. She never, never appeared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kiss me if it were the last time. Oh, because you know it's your last time. Yeah. Bad luck. She's bad luck. It's not coming, bro. Yeah. yeah. Sam. Sam. But you see, Sam came. <laughs> Let's not ask why. Just believe that I love you. Oh God, must sting like hell. Yep. I love the way that Sam is like his buddy, you know? Yeah. He's, yeah, I know, He's I know. He's happy about it, but sad, you know? But <laughs> Why did you have to come to Casablanca? There are other places. I wouldn't have come if I'd known that you were here. Thank you. I can understand how you feel. Well, he has a right to feel that way. Yeah, but I want to understand why. Why didn't mm -hmm. she go with them? It's about a girl who had just come to Paris from her home in Oslo. 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 So, so she's from Norway. She met a man about whom she had heard her whole life. A very great and courageous man. I think that maybe she, she's talking maybe about Laszlo. I do understand why he's so upset about it, Jesus. Who was it you left me for? Was it Laszlo, or were there others in between? Oof. That hurts. I mean, but you cannot be upset about it, darling. Maybe proceed to the business. With pleasure, won't you? I do love his posture, Jesus. It is my duty to see that you stay in Casablanca. Well, perhaps I should like it in Casablanca. And Mademoiselle. Oh. You needn't be concerned about me. Or you may leave for Lisbon tomorrow, on one condition. Tell him something? Of course. The resistant leaders. If I didn't give them to you in a concentration camp, where you had more persuasive right. methods yeah. at your disposal, yeah. I certainly won't give them to you now. Uh, by the way, monsieur, last night you evinced an interest in Signor Ugarte. May I speak to him now? Well, You would I find the so. conversation a trifle one-sided. Signor Ugarte is dead. Interesting. How is he dead? We haven't quite decided whether he committed suicide or died trying to escape. Yes, but they want them to know is that mm -hmm. another visa problem has come up. <laughs> what is? Show her in. Uh, show her in, Jesus. The way he uses corruption to get women. What upsets me is the fact that Ugarty is dead. No one knows where those letters of transit are. Practice. Yes, everybody's gonna try to find that shit. Morning. Senor Ferrari is the fat gent at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows what he wants. And there he goes talking to her. Last night I saw what has happened to you. The Rick I knew in Paris, I could tell him he'd understand. But the one who looked at me with such hate... Oh, come on! <laughs> well, I'm not running away anymore. I'm settled now. Love a saloon, it's true, but... The walk up a flight. I'll be expecting you. Tempting. No, you see, Victor Laszlo is my husband. And was. 
Even when I knew you in Paris. I you think see? it's what you're sa you yeah. were saying. So I think she thought he was dead, uh, but then, yeah, discovered mm -hmm. it, it wasn't. That's, but, uh, but it's quite a fucked up situation, to be yes. honest. Yeah. Senor Ferrari thinks it might just be possible to get an ex-visa for you. You mean for me to go on alone? I'll stay here and keep on trying. You see, he, he prefers to make her live. You two will want to discuss this. Excuse me, I'll be at the bar. Yeah, good. Polite, yes. Good, I yes, like you that. should do that. Yeah. If I had to stay and there were only visa for one, <laughs> would you take it? Of course not. Yes, I would. Yeah, well, he's saying oh, this wow. for her too. Yeah. <laughs> I love you very much, Elsa. I get a little bit of her point is like, because it seemed like they do, they, they are good together, you know? Yeah. But she thought he was dead. <laughs> Have you heard about Senior Gatti and the letters of transit? Yes, something. I'll venture to guess that Ugarty left those letters with Monsieur Rick. Rick. He's a difficult <laughs> customer, that Rick. One never knows what he'll do or why, but it is worth a chance. <laughs> he might, you know, for her. But when she left Rick, you know, the time, like, like you were saying, I know, I know it hurts, but the correct way would be to tell him of the whole situation and talk about it. Of course. I mean... It would be fucked up, but I think I would understand. It's like I thought that someone was dead, and it's not, and I do like <laughs> you. And but you know, it was—it's just easier to just disappear and not have to deal with it. Ah, oh, that was funny. He crashed into him, and he was just checking the pockets and everything okay, because okay, he I'm does good. know the person definitely. Rick, have you got those letters of transit? Lawyer, you pro vichy a free French. <laughs> <laughs> Serves me right for asking a direct question. The subject is closed. What did you say? Would you kindly repeat it? What I said is none of your business. I will make this my business. <laughs> Sorry, but could you not like close your wrist? Like <laughs> that was such a girly smack. Yes, I can do better than that, bro. We know that every French province in Africa is honeycombed with traitors, waiting perhaps for a leader. A leader like Laszlo? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. It's too dangerous if you let him go, it may be too dangerous if you let him stay. Oh, so it's like, maybe we should just get rid of him. Yeah, just kill. Monsieur Rick, what kind of a man is Captain Reynaud? Is he trustworthy? Is his word? Order. Why? Where's your husband? At the roulette table, trying to win enough for our exit visas. If someone loved you very much, so that your happiness was the only thing that she wanted in the world. Honey, that, that's being she a little a bit... thing to make certain of it. Yeah, this is like asking, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... And he never knew. Yeah. And the girl kept this bad thing locked. Yeah, I'm gonna have sex with Renault to help my husband. The, the thing is, she's, but she's also saying is like, should I keep it a secret from him? Mm -hmm. Maybe should I just tell him? Oh, he, that's he the guy. Probably, yeah. Have you tried 22 tonight? Les jeux sont prêts, la partie continue. Hmm. Marco... You see? He's a cynical, but he has to do something. And this way, they can get the money without her having yeah. to sleep with uh, Yeah. <laughs> so happy about it. <laughs> Cash it in and don't come back. She shouldn't, though. Yes, exactly. I have a reputation to keep. May I get you a cup of coffee? No, thanks, Carl. Yeah, but Carl was so happy and proud of him, you know? <laughs> yeah. As I suspected, you're a rank sentimentalist. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Blaine, I wonder if I could talk to you in my office. Right. <laughs> Are you enough of a businessman to appreciate an offer of 100,000 francs? I appreciate it, hmm. but I don't accept Damn. it. I'll raise it to 200,000. Oh, oh, shit. I'll make it a million francs at three. My answer would still be the same. There must be some reason why you won't let me have them. Well, ask your wife. I suggest that you ask your wife. <laughs> exactly. Pardon? I said, ask your wife. I mean, you cannot be that blind, bro. <laughs> Hey, come on, that's Sam's spot. What the fuck are you uh, doing there? I think he's gonna be upset with it. This is not a German bar, okay? That's a dangerous. Oh, the French anthem. And he knows there are a lot of people who will join. <laughs> that's like, you, you can try all you want, honey. That's a hell of a um, statement. <laughs> She admires him very much, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was a very nice touch of him, honestly. You see, this still this fight now is like you have to go. You cannot, yes. you cannot stay here. Definitely. You're gonna, you're gonna. Oh shit! 
You see what I mean? If Laszlo's presence in a cafe can inspire this unfortunate demonstration, what more will his presence in Casablanca bring on? Everybody is to leave here immediately. What happened with Rick? We'll discuss it later. Yes, because I have some questions for you. He suggested I ask you. Ask me? I don't know why he said that. How couldn't he understand that was something going on between them? I'm not sure if he doesn't. I'm, he might know. When I was in a concentration camp, were you alone mm -hmm. in Paris? Is there anything you wish to tell me? No, Victor, there isn't. You never want to talk about shit. That's why I say communication is key, darling. Victor, whatever I do, will you believe that I... That you don't even have to say it. I'll believe. Here is more like he's trying to spare her from saying it. It's like, okay, you don't have to say yeah. it. It's like, I'm not dumb, I know it, but... I think he understands if... It happened. Uh, I still I think, think they should understand. talk about it, but yeah, okay. They had a conversation about not talking about it. Yeah, yeah she's there. Richard, I had to see well, you. It was Richard again. We're back in Paris. Please. It seems as long as I have those letters, I'll never be lonely. You can ask me. <laughs> Richard, we loved each other once. If those days meant anything at all to me. Oh, don't try to manipulate him that way, Jesus. Yeah, it, it's very, very low. I wouldn't believe you no matter what you told me. You'd say anything now to get what you want. That's a huge difference from the other guy. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you say. You are our last hope. If you don't help us, Victor Laszlo will die in Casablanca. What of it? I'm gonna die in Casablanca. It's a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's oh, 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 oh. Okay, I wasn't. I was really not expecting that. <laughs> Somebody give some balls. Put them on the table. Well, you, you, you won't shoot me. Him. If you shoot me, you don't get the, the, the letters. Shoot me. Go ahead and shoot. I thought I would never see you again. It's, sorry, it was such a perfect tear. Damn. Sorry, but her just going your way, that was so, so fake. That's a, a telenovela moment, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. You knew how much I loved you. Hmm. The fact that she can say I still love you to him, but not I love you to your to her husband. Yeah, the side. He was dead, shot, trying to escape. I was lonely. I had nothing, not even hope. Then I met you. No, I'm happy that she she seems like she's telling everything now. When did you first find out he was alive? Yeah, exactly. Just that's before the... you and I were to leave Paris together. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Came and told me that Victor was alive. Wanted to tell you, but I I didn't dare. I knew. I knew you wouldn't have left Paris and the Gestapo would have caught you. So I, I get it, too. I mean, that's the thing. I get I, everything. I can is... Yeah, I know. I can understand. Yeah. I can't fight it anymore. She wants to be with him. I get that. But she admires so much the, the husband. She wants to yeah. help him. Yeah. Okay. Talk to your husband. Get a divorce. Yeah. Take care of that. But I understand that if she does it now, the husband won't, will not want to leave. All of that, so I can I can understand better what she, yeah. why she she acts the way she acts. Okay. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. <laughs> Perhaps a strange circumstance that we both should be in love. See, with the same he does understand. Yeah. The first evening I came into this cafe, I knew. Oh, that. okay, but he did realize. Yep, yep, yep. He just he just has a, a hell of a poker face. I ask you as a favor to use the letters to take her away from Casablanca. You love her that much. <laughs> We were in the middle of a conversation, come on. Yes, exactly, Jesus. On what charge? Captain Renault will discuss that with you later. <laughs> it seems that destiny has taken a hand. I do love the vintage style of the movie, though. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, I'd advise you not to be too interested in what happens to Laszlo. If by any chance you were to help him to escape... What makes you think I'd stick my neck out for Laszlo? Yes, I have the letters. But I intend using them myself. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving Casablanca on tonight's plane, the last plane. But I'm taking a friend with me, one you'll appreciate. Why are you still interested in what happens? <laughs> yeah, but, in, but I see that you still want to help him, yeah. Louis, I'll make a deal with you. If instead of this petty charge you have against him, you could get something really big, something that would chuck him in a concentration camp for years. I love the way that he's dealing, though. I place a half an hour before the plane leaves. You get him and something. we get away. How do I know you'll keep your end of the bargain? I'll make the arrangements right now with Laszlo and the visitor's pen. <laughs> Ricky, I'm going to miss you. Apparently you'll Yeah, <laughs> I, I do think. Yeah, but I think that's not what they're going to do no. in the deal. Well, 
By the way, my agreement with Sam has always been that he gets 25% of the profits. That still goes. Abdul, Carl, and Sasha, they stay with the place or I don't sell. Of course they stay. Yeah, it's like I want them to maintain and win the same things that they, they had. Is everything ready? I have the letters right here. Tell me, when we searched the place, where were they? Sam's piano. <laughs> Serves me right for not being musical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't wait to this to see the deal because honestly I think that's not exactly what he's gonna do but well, I've got the letters right here all made out in blank all you have to do is fill in the signatures Victor Laszlo you're under arrest on a charge of accessory to the murder of the couriers from whom these letters were stolen mm -hmm. oh you're surprised about my friend Ricky thank you mm -hmm. nobody's gonna be arrested not for a while yet have you taken leave of your senses? I have. Sit down over there. Put under the circumstances, me. I will sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Always so polite. <laughs> you call the airport and let me hear you tell them. And remember, this gun is pointed right at your heart. That is my least vulnerable spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love the guy. Over two letters of transit <laughs> for the Lisbon plane. There's to be no trouble about them. Hello. <laughs> this is Major Stasia. Have a squad of police meet me at the airport at once. Hmm, can I trust him? And the names are Mr. and Mrs. Victor Laszlo. But I don't understand. What about you? I'm staying here with him till the plane gets safely away. No, Richard, no. What has happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. You're part of his work. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of true, though. Just do what originally you wanted to do. Forget about me. Hills, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. Is looking at you, kid. And I love the way that Laszlo is not bothering them in this moment. Everything is in order. You didn't know she was at my place last night when you were. She came there for the letters of transit. Isn't that true, Elsa? She did her best to convince me that she was still in love with me. That was all over long ago. <laughs> for your sake, she pretended it wasn't, and I let her pretend. The welcome makes for a fight. This time, I know our side will be. Let's see. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm sorry, I know that Morocco and Lisbon is very near, but I still am not sure if I would trust that plane to do the travel. Bye, Rick. Because ultimately, is like you guys are gonna get away, and I'm gonna, gonna go to jail probably. <laughs> yeah, 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 he knows that. Wait, thanks for helping me out. I suppose you know this isn't going to be very pleasant for either of us, especially especially for you. you. I'm gonna have to arrest you, Push. Victor Laszlo is on that plane. Why don't you stand here? Why don't you stop him? Get away from that phone. <laughs> I would advise you not to interfere. I was willing to shoot Captain Rhino and I'm willing to shoot you. He has spoken. I told you. Oh god, that, that's not gonna be good for him. Though. Major Strasser has been shot. Round up the usual suspects. <laughs> I love the usual suspects. Just round up the usual suspects. You see, he likes Rick oh, too much. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's his buddy, you know? <laughs> he pointed a gun at you. <laughs> but you still owe me 10,000 francs. And that 10,000 francs should be not expensive. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, the beginning? Oh, I think that you're only there because you guys are friends for a while now. <laughs> I do know this sentence as well. <laughs> I think it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I didn't know the... The context. The, the context of it, but yeah. <laughs> So, that was interesting, um, <coughs> not at all what I was expecting what Casablanca to be. No, I was you expecting You kind of guessed a little bit, yeah? Yeah, true, as I normally do, by the way. Shut up. But I was expecting it to be a little bit more, um, like that thing that we saw in the street, you know? I was expecting to be a little bit more of street views you know oh, I, I mean, I, I regarding shots and stuff i understand yeah it's not much about the city itself uh, actually not really at all at all yeah yeah most of the time you just spend inside of a bar exactly, exactly. so it's much 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 less expensive to shoot <laughs> also so yeah nice. in that regard I, I i agree with you yeah so um what you thought about casablanca from 1942 so i think it's a very interesting movie uh, I do like the story itself, like the plot. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's not uh, too boring. That sometimes 
I think in these older movies they get kind of boring but as well I'm not very experienced about it that kind of older movies so yeah we still I don't, don't really know have a saying, but that much yeah yeah mm -hmm. but I do have that idea uh, preconceived that say that uh, it is more um, boring the stories uh, and there are some things that I don't like but it's like my preference. What is it? Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it might be the same thing. That, that than telenovela me. drama. Yes, that's the only oh. thing. Oh, <laughs> please. Well, it was the way to, for them at that, that time to show a bit of, know, the, uh, of that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I do like when everything is more natural and that drama. Over forced. Not my thing. I do get it. And... I know that you need to see the movie according to the time when it was shot or the time it represents. So I get it, it's fine, it doesn't bother me, but it's not my favorite thing. I do agree. Uh, that's, that's, I, I would say that it's my only real concern about the movie, it's a bit of that. The very forced melodramatic moments that, well it happens a lot in, the, in these uh, old movies. Yeah. If you go see the movies from the 40s and 50s, that's a very prevalent thing, I would say. Yes. I've seen a few uh, melodramatic movies from, from, from those days. So I, I would say that, yeah, the realistic, the more realistic um, interactions, you know, uh, um, no, no, not, not interactions, the, 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 the way yeah. people reacted, it kind of started more in the 60s and then 70s yeah. where you had a big shift in movies. Uh, but you know, when you watch an older movie, you kind of expect it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For those things and to it's, happen. <laughs> it's part of it, you know. That's what bit, makes it unique. A little honestly. bit, honestly, part of the charm. So, so yeah. Uh, so far, I, I think I'm agreeing uh, a lot with what you're saying. Anything else you want to add about Casablanca? I Characters you like, moments you liked. <laughs> yeah, I liked the honesty of the employees to the employer to the to Rick. I do love Rick's personality. I loved the cop. I think it's one of my favorites. I think the guy is hilarious. That kind of humor that you don't laugh ridiculously about it, but it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like five years from now, I'm going to be like, that fucking cop is like, Jesus. Did you like the hilarious way that he just manipulated and, uh, you know, uh, took advantage of people who were in great need just to fuck some women? That was hilarious as well. It's part of him, you know? It helps to build this character. <laughs> it is so, it's such a creepy side that when you think about it, you never see any, any of it, but when you think about it, it's like, that's such, like, a weasel thing but to do. in his defense, he did give people a choice. You can, I can get the ticket, <laughs> you can you either can get the choice. money, or I can get it from you, or to you. Depending on the point of view. But I will, I will agree. It's it's a is 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 a very entertaining character yes. in the movie. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and him and Rick they work very well together. Yes, I I love seeing them together because they can read each other. You know, I mean they yeah. are from the same <laughs> level of awareness of how things work. If you want to put it that way. And and uh, yeah, and uh, Renault knows uh, Rick uh, since the beginning. Is like I know you're a sentimentalist. Don't, don't, me, don't give me that crap. Yeah. And Rick is one of my favorites because he, yes. he is smart enough and has self-control enough to be rational and you and you know he has a shell of, of cynicism and he can do and he can get things done. But underneath, and we see that in that scene with the women and the, and the, her husband, he is like he's willing to to help because you know he's a sentimentalist and he really yeah. cares. And, okay, and you saw all the employees were like, oh, I love my boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pretends to be so so bad and everything, yeah, but it's like it's a puppet. I think the employees knows also know that if something were to happen to them, that he would come and try to help yes, them. Yes, I you think know? so. And you can see you could see that when they were closed, he said, "Well, of course, the old employees will still be paid," and that's an attitude that you would not get today. Mm -hmm. So imagine back then, like, would be a non-existent thing, you know. Like, but it's, it's quite true. Yeah, it was like he, he's selling his place, but he, his main concern was like, I will sell it, but you know, on the contract it has to be like they you keep the same employees, they have to be paid, and, and all of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's, I think that's uh, nice. Yeah. Very, 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 very good, very nice. 
very yeah. loyal from his part as well. There is only one thing that I'm very sad or that I wish that we could have seen is the backstory of Rick. I would love to see why the hell was he... Because you can see that he's been through a lot as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious to know what he was. Was he a spy? Was he like gangster kind of stuff? Because Yeah, you don't know 100% all the things that he did, so he's still a bit mysterious. You do get that he, he, he was a part of a lot of stuff. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has always been a bit of, um, I don't, don't want to say a criminal, but you know, he always worked outside of the law, let's say, a bit, yeah. I think. But yeah, you don't go too much into detail uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in that. Yeah, That's something that I would like to see. Just, just to, I don't know, just because I like him. Just I want think. to see more. Yeah, okay. I want more. Yeah, That's sure. not that bad. If a movie leaves you wanting more, it's not yeah, that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I would just like to add, so, as you could see, uh, the, 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 there was a few scenes, a few lines that I recognized, so I think I probably just saw those things, things and out of context, so I, I wasn't aware of the story itself. Uh, I like the story, I think it's uh, w w well written, it's interesting, um, uh, it's quite, uh, honestly, it's, it's, not that, it's not that complex, it's simple, uh, you do have that uh, little conflict of, of people with her, him, you know, the, the, the love triangle, let's say. Uh, but uh, another thing that I really liked, and it, it doesn't have to do with story or characters, and it's something that's, okay, uh, maybe we have technology now, nowadays to be a bit, uh, uh, to work that a, that a bit more, but it's the lighting and the um, oh. cinematography. I do really like that style. I, I don't really know how to, um, verbalized or explain it that much but I don't know I, I just like the look of the movie yeah so the look of the movie for me it's uh, it's quite pleasant let's say yeah I completely agree there were some nice nice shots there and I think it's guys forgive me I have no idea what I'm saying actually but in my opinion it's uh, harder for you to work with light when it's black and white probably I have I no think... idea, but I would say so, you know, so because there are a lot of night nice shots with the lights there. Yeah, I would say that, uh, I think you're right, it might be harder and at the same time it, you you do get better things. Yeah. Because I, 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 I really like bl black and white, actually. Yes. I, I think it, when it's well used, I really like black and white. Uh, but, but yeah, probably if you had color... It wouldn't be the same. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm gonna be the same. I can't imagine this that I just watched yeah. the color. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But and, yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of black and white, but it's very weird because I'm not used to see that kind of movies. But we did saw Mockingbird, which was mm -hmm. a very nice movie to see in black and white. This yeah. one as well. One that I think I didn't like as much black and white was Kill Bill. I don't think it makes that much sense, black and white. In oh, movie, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A but few in scenes that were, yeah. Yeah, in this kind of movie, I think it makes totally sense because mm -hmm. it helps you go to that era, you know? So, this wraps up Casablanca. Thank you so much for choosing that movie for us to, to watch, guys. Uh, I think we, we both really liked it. And yeah. I think we, I feel a bit more um, cultured. I don't know if that's the, educated. the right. Educated. Educated. Yeah. Because, yeah, it, it, it is a movie that is very referenced in other medium and in other movies. So it's nice to actually understand <laughs> the context uh, behind those yeah. references. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think that's it. So right? I think that's one last movie for us to watch. And uh, still, I think that we still have a lot of things to watch. So make sure to subscribe to our mm -hmm. channel so that you can always see what we are up to. Don't forget to visit our Patreon, you can become a free patron of ours and vote in the next movies we're gonna watch. And if you want to give us a little support, extra support, we also have pay tiers, but it's totally up to you and whatever you do, we just appreciate that you are here helping us and supporting us. And <laughs> we will see you guys next time. That's it guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.